Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is two city scheduling. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says there are two N people a company is planning to interview. The cost of flying the ith person to city A is cost I at index zero. And the cost of flying the ith person to city B is at index 1. Written the minimum cost to fly every person to a city such that exactly n people arrive in each city. That means we have total 2n numbers of people and we have two cities. That means we have to exactly send n number of people to city A and exactly n number of people to city B. And we are given with example. So let's move on to pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question. After that we will see the code. Question is simply saying we have two n number of people representing the length of the array and we have two cities A and B. Cost at index 0 is the cost to fly to city A and cost at index 1 is the cost to fly to city B. We need to send exactly n number of people to city A and exactly n number of people to city B. But we need to send the person in such a way that the cost is minimum. So if I say that let's see what if if I send everyone to city A and then let's see what if, if I send everyone to city B, what is the difference? So that we can know sending to which city save us more. So, so let me make a partition. So let me make a partition and let me name them. So let's name 0, 1, 2, 3. And this is a cost of flight to city A. This is the city B. So for person 0, if I fly to city A, it will going to cost me 10 bucks. And if I'm going to fly to city B, it will going to cost me 20. That means if I'm flying to city B, so it will going to cost me 10 bucks more rather than flying to city A. So that means if I'm flying to city A, I'm saving 10 bucks. So if we had only one person and if they have asked us that which city we should fly, we would have clearly said we should fly to city A because flying to city A is saving us 10 bucks rather than flying to city B. In the same way, if I ask for person 1 to fly to city A, it will cost us 30. But if I ask the person to fly to city B, it will cost us 200. So in this way, if the person is flying to city A, it will going to save us 170 bucks. But And if the person fly to city B, rather than flying to city A, costs us 170 bucks more. And if I took out person number 2, if the person fly to city A, it will going to cost 400. And if the person fly to city B, it will going to cost us 50. So if the person fly to city A, that will going to cost us 350 bucks more than flying to city B. And if the person fly to city B, it will going to save us 350 bucks. Same with person 3. If we fly to city A, it will going to cost us 30. If the person fly to city B, it will going to cost us 20. So flying to city A will cost 10 bucks more and flying to city B will save us 10 bucks. So now when we have the difference and if I sort them by the difference of A minus B which is minus 10 minus 170 plus 350 plus 10 what it is telling us that if I am taking minus 70 in the first position that will going to cost us 30 to flying to city A then I am taking minus 10 which is just costing us 10 bucks to flank to city A then I'm taking plus 10 which is just costing us 20 bucks to flank to city B and if I talk about plus 350 it is just costing us 50 bucks to flank to city B and if I add them this turn up to 1110 and this is the minimum cost so what I'm simply doing here is 
I'm taking the difference of cos to flight to city A to the cos of flank to city B. That means cos of flank to city A minus cos of flank to city B. Then I'm sorting them in the ascending order. And as we know that we have two n number of people and we need to send n to city A and n to city B. That means that we need to send exactly half percent to city A half percent to city B. So now I can send this person to city A and this person to city B. And for that I can simply take a for loop until the time i is less than length of costs till the time I am going to ask the person to fly to city A and after that I am going to ask the person to fly to city B. In this way I can minimize my cost. So this is the way we can solve this question. If you are still confused here, let's see the code. I am pretty sure after looking at the code you will be more clear with the question. At line number 3, I made a sorted cost array in which I am sorting the cost on the basis of difference of cost of flank to city A and the cost of flank to city B. Then I made a result variable which is initially 0. Then I am taking the for loop in the length of the cost. And till the time my i is less than half of the length of the cost. That means I am selecting the first half. And I am adding the cost of flank to city A to the result. And for the second half, I am adding the cost of the flank to city B. In this way, I am sending exactly half people to city A and exactly half people to city B. And my cost remain minimum. As I am sorting it on the basis of difference of cost of flank to city A to the cost of flank to city B. And at the end, I am simply returning the result. So this is the code. Let's see whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code and it got accepted. So this was the solution for this problem. You can find the code in the description below. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.